my spoopy friends and welcome back to another plan with today we are setting up the month of october otherwise known as the month of halloween i don't think anyone's surprised that i'm doing a halloween theme for october honestly why do you even have a bullet journal if you're not gonna do anything halloween themed so start off with my cover page i'm just doing a branch coming in from the side and then a big moon that's going to set the mood for this entire month i've decided to go with just dark and light gray for this entire month i usually use quite the palette of colors but i decided to try to tone it down and keep it to just these two colors so i am adding a little shadow to the moon to give it some dimension and then i'm writing out october in this kind of stiff way and adding a kind of drop shadow Moving on to my monthly overview, I decided to make the uh, boxes for each day a little bigger this month, so they're roughly 3 by 3 centimeters. And then I started off by adding some bats and a little scary pumpkin and kind of setting the scene with this hill with a mansion on top and a graveyard and these spooky trees and whatnot. It took quite the time to line everything and then fill it in but you'll see later that it turned out pretty damn well. I decided to make everything one solid colour with either the dark or light grey. I was kind of doubtful in the beginning if I was really gonna just keep it to these two shades of grey but in the end I actually really like how it turned out and how it pulled the entire month and all the spreads together that those two colours were the only ones present throughout the entire month. Honestly making these spreads just fill me with so much joy because I have missed Halloween for a year and now it's finally finally here and I just oh I cannot contain my enthusiasm for Halloween or just autumn in general I just oh I love it to bits so moving on I am numbering the the days and of course realized that I added three too many days to the month so to cover that up I added a little bigger bat, kind of makes it look like they're coming towards you, I like that. And of course added a little spider web. I didn't add the spider because I really don't like spiders, but spider webs are kind of a must for Halloween, so you know, small sacrifices. Moving on to my mood and habit tracker. Since May, I think, I've done these coloring book style trackers for my mood but lately I've really been slacking with filling them in so I decided to go back to my original mood tracking ways and my habit tracker still remains the same. I've added and taken away some of the habits I'm tracking but otherwise it's all the same. I've kept this font throughout all the spreads because I wanted to bring it all together even more and I added this that little moon with the owl and so on onto my one line a day page I did this little header with the moon phases wrote out the days of the month and then just wrote out one line a day underneath the moons nothing too extra but i like how simple it is it makes sure it doesn't like overflow with content adding the drop shadow again of course onto my brain dump page i decided to make a little witchy scene with a cauldron brewing some kind of mysterious thing and two brooms resting against the side of the page kind of I don't know <laughs> I kind of improvised here but I think the brooms especially turned out great and the cauldron I don't know I've never really drawn a cauldron properly before but you know turns out okay added a little bat of course because bats are awesome 
I was really worried that this Tombow pen, the dark grey one, was gonna run out of ink towards the end of this month, but it's held up, so uh, it's all good. I decided to add some white highlights as well to stop it from being completely solid black. Next page, I didn't know exactly what to do with, so I just added this dark grey border around it so I can come back and fill it up with whatever I want as the month goes by. On to my next spread, it's something that I haven't done before. It's a YouTube idea spread followed by a schedule that I'm gonna use post-it note to write out the titles of videos and then I can move them around. If something changes or one video gets done before another, I can switch them around so I just know when what's coming up and uh, what I have to do and so on. It makes it a lot easier to visualize. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible so I won't be distracted by too many doodles or whatever so I just added a little smiling carved pumpkin and left it at that. On to my first weekly spread. I went along with the horizontal scene from my monthly overview and kind of just built on that with some houses, a church and a graveyard and then just doing the horizontal layout with the days, adding the same drop shadow once again and then tediously filling in everything with dark grey. Honestly, it was such a pain because it took so long to get it done but I am honestly so happy with how it turned out even though my pen lost a drastic amount of ink. And then I'm just writing out the names of the days and and then adding a line so that I have events on the top of the line and to-dos and just notes and stuff underneath the line so I can keep things separated and not lose things. And that is that for my October layout thus far. I really hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you get into your spoopy Halloween spirit when you're making your October spreads as well. I thank you for sitting down with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!